In case you were doing jazzercise during the last men's room performance, here's what you missed. Uh, Bichola's uh, Thrill, uh, guys. Uh, my girlfriend was wondering how you got your nickname of Thrill. She thinks it's because you danced to Thriller Naked, that from Sean. Yeah, she nailed it. That's exactly it. That's not how you got your nickname. Actually, uh, my first day in radio, they had me operating the board for the Ken Rosenthal show. Ken Rosenthal now is uh, Fox Network's de facto baseball guy. He's more the Bob the, Costas for Fox, You know, more right? than the de facto uh, Fox baseball guy, in my mind, he is probably the guy when it comes to information about Major League Baseball. But he's a very kind period, guy. Period. Uh, I was running the board. And so anyway, at the end of his show, he thanks anyone that helped. He had no idea what my name is, so his producer handed him a sheet of paper, and as he's closing out the show, he simply said, I'm going to thank uh, Steve uh, the Thrill Hill, right? That's all he says. I go into work the next day. Everyone was just going, hey, uh, Thrill. It. So part of it, I keep it as a tribute to the fact the guy's a very cool guy. He's a very good guy. The one I like, what you, I guess you were in, what, a dance contest or something? Oh, yeah, my senior year. Homecoming. See, dance this one, contest. this one you don't think it's risky. Mm-hmm. Right. Dance contest, about to, I'm, I'm close. There's only three people left. And then, boom, dislocate my knee, go down. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Look, man, I'm telling you. I'm sorry, well, man. Well, I would, that's well, not a good look. <laughs> no, right. it was unbelievable. See, I, I went, think uh, that's worse than the sledding. Because there's no inherent danger. You just and you're good enough that you're one of the final three, and Jesus, then your knee man. goes down. And the reason I laugh is because I'm picturing you just dropping like a, a, a box of uh, rocks in front of that many people. Is chest hair hot or not? Hot. Any other guesses? I'm uh, guessing they asked women, so I don't know. Well, I like chest hair on a woman, sure. Dude, it's hot, Yeah, man. I mean, nipple hair every once in a while, like a stray when the sun hits it. Mm-hmm. Give us the good news, Mike. According to a new survey, 28% of women said... They like chest hair. They do only, like it. Only 28%. That's all right. It's one in four chance. So ladies yeah, get right. don't have that chest hair then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Mike, they just don't know they like it till they get there. That's right. Mm-hmm. They just that gotta wait. That sounded terrible. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just give it a shot. It's okay. Try it once or twice. Just touch it. You learn to like it. The oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kirsten. Welcome to the men's room. Hello, how's it going? Hola. Hola. So, hold on, I gotta put out my cigarette. I just let a cigarette. I knew you guys were gonna do this to me. I gotta put that thing um, out. That's how it works. If you need a bus to so show up because you're running late, is, light a cigarette. Used to be the food would come when you could smoke inside. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I just finished my fries and went in frosty. Actually. Oh, nice. Did you dip the fries in the frosty? Absolutely, my okay. nuggets too. And your nuggets. Dip chicken nuggets in the frosty. <laughs> Oh, my gosh, it's so good. You have to try it. I don't know, I'm man. I'm intrigued. I did my nuggets in that Frosty. I mean, I did part oh, of my yeah. nuggets in the Frosty, but you not know, my like, chicken ones. Too, too far. Get, <laughs> you took it too far. Do you not get a sauce with it because you just dip your nuggets right into the Frosty? Yes. All right, I'll Indeed. give it a try. Hey, man, yeah, I always get a Frosty it's win. It's it's not? All right, if I were to make out with you right now, what do you most likely smell like? Nuggets, fries, or cigarettes? What are you burping? Um, oh, my burp was very, very nuggety frosty. Nuggety frosty. (laughs) (laughs) Guys are out there like, I'd still get her number. (laughs) Nuggety frosty breath. But again, the thing with Chicago, and I know what you're saying about the other bodies. It's not an excuse. But it's just like, he's the coroner. Like he, right. his first job is to decide whether these people are alive or dead. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Well, Tim, I that, that, that it's bad. By the time you I call just, the coroner, he he's somebody, well, yeah. he already thinks everybody's dead. Now look, and, and again, Sean, uh, I agree that it's awful. I just think in this scenario, John D says, "Jesus Christ, well, my day is ruined." Hey, man, <laughs> look. The problem, it's not even like these are the first three stories. I see. there's like twenty of them, and Would then it help ev- if you knew more about the sea lion story. You Make, got see, it we depends. got seal info. Do you have more info? There are rocks. Oh. Okay. All right. So now we know. Do they th- die? They're jumping on the I rocks, mean. Ted. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, do you still I'm feel the same? I'm holding out hope here for these uh, seals. They jumped on the rocks. <laughs> Officers were dispatched to a certain street at 2.20 a.m. for a vehicle reported to be resting on its top after striking other vehicles. Well, on the, on the scene, investigators said they met the guy who immediately told them, look, I was drunk and his car is effed up. He had several signs of intoxication, smelled of alcohol. He had dried blood on his face uh, from his nose, but he still declined medical treatment. On the way to county jail, he said he was drunk to the officer again. And at the jail, he did not pass several sobriety tests. 
On his first offense, he faced as having his license suspended and might have to pay a fine. But the reason we're toasting him, his name is Benjamin Beer. <laughs> Benjamin Aww. Beer. The problem with uh, with uh, pooping in the bed uh, in a hotel room. I mean, is the only the problem. problem is, the problem is the problem. The problem is there's you no, just stated it. There's no real place to strip the bed and put the sheets for the cleaning ladies to not know that you crap the bed. It's like you know the, when you're a kid and you pooped and you streaked your your underwear a little bit and you yeah, I call it, that a poop. If, if you hid the underwear in the corner of the laundry basket, yeah, maybe somehow your mom they won't notice. Wouldn't find it and know you pooped a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like there's no place to hide those sheets. It's- from the people Did who are knocking on tip? that door. Well, of course you leave them a substantial tip. How much money? I don't know. What was probably, it worth Probably drop 40 bucks. Something like that. Well, I crapped all over the $100. sheets. $100. Well, I mean, that I was want, just for I like, I was one day. I was, that was the first day I was there. Like, I was going to tip them out at the end, but I still felt like I had to tip them oh, on okay. top all right, that okay. day. Yeah, yeah. Like, Fair enough. Like, Fair enough. We went and picked up one of those make-your-own-home birdhouse kind of deals, so we kind of bond on the weekend. So, um... I took the front piece and I had it wedged. I was sitting on a, a picnic table and I had the, the wood between my knees kind of holding it in place. And I got the drill bit and I'm cutting out the hole for where the, the birds would go in and out. And uh, the bit went right through and right into my calf. Ah. How deep? So uh, um, I still have a scar. It's about a four inch scar and it went about a half an inch to uh, an inch deep. Um, let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you. Do you have to then put the drill in reverse to get it out, or do you just yank it out? It, it went right through and came out the side. So. Oh, Jeez. it went through, through. Ooh. Yeah. A group in Vancouver pretended to sell unfiltered hot dog water as a new keto diet health drink over the weekend. Um, did they say it was a. Uh, they said it was, it was just hot a, dog water, or did they They just, did. And people, but because they said it has a health benefit. I actually saw it. It was like a jar with a hot dog inside of it. <sighs> hot dog water. And they I, said it's a benefit. It was just a stunt to promote critical thinking, actually. So were they successful or not? That's I don't the know. Real I'm not working on it. Did people actually buy this crap? I like they said unfiltered. As <laughs> if people would be like, oh, wait a minute. Is this filtered hot dog water? Right. Not drinking. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 dump button count mid gear update. Gentlemen, your current number of dump buttons used for 2018, excluding your show now, is 47. That is on pace to beat last year's total of 92. The total in FCC fine save this year, are you ready for this, has been 15275000 American dollars not given to the FCC. Uh, on a quick side note, now, Miles, your theory is if you hire an electrician, they're going to tell you that whoever did the wiring before the after up. Do you feel the doctors do the same thing? That whatever it is you're going for, they let you know how close it were, you were to dying. I think it depends. You on realize, the hey man, but I think yeah. you go over the sprained toe. Ooh, well Look, that one little bone there. If it hit this and it poisoned your blood, you'd die. They don't want to mm-hmm. deal with hypochondriacs either. Like the last they thing, say last, that, the last but thing they, a doctor but wants then, is a needy patient. Okay, you know? but even if that's true, then why would you tell them that even if it's true? Like, look, in okay. his case, he didn't die. He did not land on his neck. The doctor's no need to tell him that. Mm-hmm. That would be like me yelling to a pedestrian, hey, if I kept driving to that intersection, I'd have yeah, run your ass I, over. There's no know. need to know that. Dude, when I split my head open, they, so many of them said it to me. Right. You're looking now, at oh, yeah, yeah, because of the situation. Wait, but I'm just saying, after a while, it's like, okay, what do you want me to tell you? Like, right. I fell, my head is split open, like... Well, you could have died. Like, right. That's but why I'm didn't. here now. I'm just. But he, so that's that's right. why people go to the it's hospital. Like, uh, okay. We think, <laughs> hey, maybe I'll die. <laughs> and then we go to an emergency. So we so get it. We know right, that like maybe we could have died. So you think I they fell made, off a balcony. <laughs> right. I didn't go, you know what the hell with it. I'm just so you think their <laughs> MO is just, they're just trying to make you feel worse. I know. So at like, a certain point, yes. Do you think that's so, why do you I'm think here? Now, the men's room legacy continues. Unfortunately, what you're about to hear is real. The members of this radio program are simply not that bright. Or what some people would call educated. They are merely stupid. They're not trying to offend anyone on purpose. And all have played doctors on TV. You have been warned and are cordially invited to join the party. This is the men's room. Forget it, man, and get with the countdown. Get, 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 get with the countdown. Shake this square world and blast off for Kicksville. The trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones, all gathered in secrecy 
and flying high as a country. This is the men's room with Miles and Thrill. You know what they say, shake your radio more than three times, and you're playing with it. You're listening to the men's room. Ah! 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 Welcome to the show number 2850. Along with Steve the Throw Hill. D. Ted Smith, Robin Fox, uh, and my cock, Montgomery! And you, hard to miss room. <laughs> On tap today, we are two days away from Red Festival, and once again, we play Big Dummy! Ted's Meat and Potatoes has 15 foods you did not know came in cans. No way, Sherlock is back. Get ready to play Profile This. Plus headlines, a men's room shot of the day, fun listener emails, and everyone's favorite, TV time with Ted. Click, clack. Drink it, drive. All right, here we go. Mom doesn't want a son to get last word in, so she shoots at him while he rides away on his bike. Damn. Meanwhile, a French priest doesn't enjoy a crying infant during Mass, so he bitch slaps the little tyke. Arkansas Thief tries paying waitress with her own stolen card. In Florida, the daughter of God is arrested, and now from a bar she is barred. And Kansas City, a char- uh, man charged with uh, making love to a tailpipe. That is all coming on today's very special episode of The Men's Room. And now, here's the question. Hola, bitches. Good day to you and yours. Today is the day that we play Big Dummy, the game show that rewards you for your stunning ignorance. And here's how it works. You call us, we will spin the category wheel. We will spin spin the category wheel, and then we'll ask you a question from that category. But here's where Big Dummy separates itself from your average, more reputable game show. We will continue to ask you questions until you get one right. Now, to date, our biggest dummy ever is the lovely and talented Josh, who dug deep into his inner ignoramus and answered 20 consecutive questions wrong. Can you do better? Well, of course you can. So give us a call, and off we go on Big Dummy. Be a contestant to play Big Dummy. Call 844-999-OLA. You can like The Men's Room on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Men's Room Live, and send your emails to The Men's Room at mensroomlive.com. You are listening to The Men's Room Radio Network. Welcome back to The Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. Oh, the toes, and away we go. Welcome to show number 2,850. And what a large and charge program we have for you today. Guaranteed future repeat for uh, for sure, as we are now two days away from uh, Restable. Uh, rest- restable. 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 Come restable. restable. I'm so excited it's Restable. I'm going to end up calling that forever. Red Festival. Uh, the head chef is in the house. Ted's meat and potatoes. Uh, today we've got uh, 15 foods that you did not know came in cans. <laughs> I get the feeling we're not going to be happy to hear any of it. I feel like or if you know, cans. Would you rather come in cans or came in cans? I don't know. It doesn't no, matter. It doesn't matter. Sounds bad. Oh, man. See, Even when you said it in the office today, I'm like, I'm not going to say anything, know. but... I couldn't believe nobody giggled. But it's the right... It's, that's the right... I smiled. That's, what the ti- that's the title of the article. But that's the right tense, right? It 15 is. foods you didn't know came in cans. Yes, I mean... That's, or is it they fi- come in cans. Yeah, 15 foods you didn't know come in cans. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make it less giggly. No, but I mean, on the 15 foods... What is the present? What is the right Maybe tense? it should be packaged. Okay. Oh, 15 foods you didn't know were packaged in cans. In cans. Right. There you go. Oh, oh okay. Now oh. we found a loophole there. All right. Mm-hmm. A profile this coming up, and we will drink a toast once again with the <laughs> shot of the day. And as we do uh, every time we play Big Dummy, we have a little men's room poll. Uh, last time, we asked you to pick a body that you would uh, end up living in. It's amazing all the different ways that people thought this through. Sure. Uh, and we continued to get a lot of uh, thoughts as the week went on. Some well, people there's a lot that- to consider. Because the one thing about this poll, before you say the body options, remember... You did not live their life. You mm-hmm. were still you, your job, your money, all that. Yeah. You just have to appear as this person. And one person said, you know, and I never really thought about this, I want to be Gary Coleman in Gary Coleman's body, because the choices were Gary Coleman, Andre the Giant, and Donatella Versace. Mm-hmm. You understand what we were doing there. But with Gary Coleman, he's like, I would just like to poop without my feet touching the floor. That that was the whole thing, huh? Yeah, and I thought, that's interesting. Why not? Yeah, I mean, exactly. whatever you know what, man, I haven't done that since I was, what, three, two? I mean, right after... I Ted, you want to be Andre the Giant just to beat the hell out of people. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean. uh, and as far <laughs> as uh, the voting that went down at, uh, at Men's Room Live, if you follow us there on uh, Twitter and uh, the calls and all the uh, people that played Big Dummy, uh, we ended up with Andre the Giant, believe it or not, mm. being the body that most people would love to live in. 
Gary Coleman was second. Yeah. Uh, Donatella Versace was third. A little bit different on uh, the number two and number three there as far as online and as far as what we did as far as our contestants are concerned. It was close between Coleman and Versace. So, uh, this week on our men's room poll, this is going to be uh, just pick one. Just pick one. That's all it is. It's not for life. It's none mm-hmm. of that stuff. Just pick one if you had to. Would you take a hard shell taco, a soft shell taco, a burrito, or nachos? Now, listen, before you get all crazy about this, well, is it a breakfast burrito? Is it a fish taco? Is it? That's all on you. You don't care. Yeah, whatever you want to do. You like chicken. You like pulled chicken. You like pulled pork. You like beef. You like ground beef. You like what we call the mom's taco. Uh, which is just no, which is just I would not like crunchy, something called crunchy, mom's taco. taco. It's a crunchy taco like mom would make at home. That's what a mom's taco is. <laughs> Hard no, shell. Oh, who said at, who says that? Who goes a mom's, called taco? A mom's taco? It's not called no, a mom's yes, taco. It is. It's absolutely called a mom's taco. It should not be. It is. It there's really also, I will never and, okay, call it that. I there's will also say a dad's a there's shell. also a dad's taco. That pig in a blanket? I mean, what is a dad's taco? A dad's taco is a soft shell uh, with oh. gr- with uh, refried beans wrapped around a hard shell. Where where do you hear this? Where did you go? On, okay, look, look. My look mom's taco I, taco. I don't doubt that you've seen it on a menu, mm-hmm. but that is, I don't think you could say, like, that's what everybody calls it. All right, mom's taco. I mean, if you're trying to sell me food, if you're trying to get my money, if you call it mom's taco, like, you're not going to get my money for that. Okay, all right. Nothing Fair against enough. my mother, it's but it kind of ruins the thing. Okay. Right? All right. Uh, I would take a burrito just based on this. I like the soft shell over the hard shell as far as tacos go, but a burrito's bigger. Hmm. Okay. So I'm like, here you go, big soft shell taco that I'll eat with a fork in I mean, I, my initial urge is burrito, but honestly, if, if I just had to pick one, there's no, like, what yeah, time whatever to, filling you want. Then whatever. I'm just going nachos. Uh, you know what? I got to agree with you. Yeah. I think if you don't get the nachos, you made the wrong call. <sighs> Maybe, man. Because, you know what? Because everyone would be looking over and going, yeah, I should have got the nachos. My you only I mean? problem like, with nachos is the initial eating of it is fantastic, but then mm-hmm. you get to the part uh, where it's a desert. There's no cheese. There's no, there's no jalapeno. It's just that middle part where now I just have warm chips. Are you are you uh, are you someone who, when you see that chip that's got all the sour cream on it and the majority of the good stuff, do you go for that whole chip and eat it all, or are you the kind person? That will take another chip and scrape some of that off, or maybe a fork, so no. others could enjoy in the guac lob or whatever you've got on there. That's you know, like, are that's, we sharing these? Yes. That way you have more. See, like that's when you say you get to the. Are sorry they part. looking at me? Well, you're, you're not eating, looking. I mean, the I whole mean, thing. You know, look. If if you get a single order of nachos for just yourself, which is an unusual move, all right, then all obviously you can eat that however you want it. But in the decency of how we know nachos to be eaten, which is like, get in there. You know what I mean? Like you need, I think you need to spread the love a little bit, right? No? I, think it I don't depends know. Look. on how many nachos have been eaten. Generally, that middle part I think kind of stays in there the longest. Because then it gets soggy. Well, no, because everybody's dipping right, into you the guac sour dip cream. Thing. But when when it gets to that point, I eat the good one. Okay. Yeah, right, fair eat enough. that soggy chip but with all like, the goodness. You know what? I did it for years too, but sometimes it just gets annoying, right? What's that? Like if you're sitting there with like. I don't know, two other people. And it's like, well, who's going to eat the last chicken? It's like, j- just somebody eat Just it. do it. Yep. Right? Yeah. Men's room poll. Pick one. Hard shell taco, soft shell taco, burrito, and nachos. Those are your options. All right. The game is Big Dummy. 844-999. Ola, who is our first contestant ready to play the big game? Hello, Michael. Welcome to the men's room. Hey, What's up, y'all? Hola. Hola. Michael, you sober or not sober today? What team are you playing for? Oh, I'm sober. I just got off work. Welcome to the program there, man. Michael, uh... Our men's room poll is it going to be hard shell taco, soft shell taco, burrito, or nachos? Burrito for days. Burrito for days. No street taco option. What the? What's the street taco? Well, right, they're still going to put it what soft, soft shell. Shell. All right, yeah, it's going to be just soft make it the same. all enclosed. Yeah, yes, we know that. We know. That. Right. So if you're thinking, if he says street tacos, the the corn tortilla is still soft. Yes. Right. Okay. Right, right. 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 All right. I follow. You. I follow. You. All right, Michael. Welcome to the program. We're going to start you with a multiple choice question. In what organ of the human body would you find the pons, the brain, the liver, the spleen, or the pancreas? The liver. The pons is located in your brain. What the pons is, I do not know. The pons. P O N S. The pons. All right, your next question. What cut of steak got its name from the New York City coat stop where it was first served? Coat stop would be the biggest hint in that. Coat stop? Mm-hmm. 
coach or coach? Major. Coach. So you're riding into horses and oh. all this kind of thing, kind of pre-automobile. I'm guessing Terrace Major. Terrace Major Cat. New York Strip? Porterhouse. Porterhouse. Oh. That makes sense when you hear it, but all right. Question three. Porterhouse. All right, Michael. T-bone. What professional wrestler starred in the 1988 cinematic masterpiece, They Live? Randy Savage. Mm. Was it Rowdy Roddy Piper? Rowdy Roddy Piper, one of the finest movies ever made. The man was the truth fast man. He also starred in Hell Comes to Frogtown, another cinematic masterpiece. Hard not to like Rowdy Roddy Piper. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go geography. Two countries share the Matterhorn, Switzerland and what other country? Denmark. Can you guess it? Probably way off. I'll be honest with you. I didn't realize these two countries even shared a border. It says two countries share the Matterhorn. Switzerland is one of them. What's the other country? Germany? Italy. Oh. Italy. Yeah, right. That's what I huh. thought. I wouldn't have guessed that in 10 million years. Get out of here. Boxing great Muhammad Ali, according to him, was said to float like what? A boat. Float like a boat. A butterfly. Float like a boat. Well, boats float. Well, good I ones hope. do. Yo. They yeah. used to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. <laughs> that's a pretty accurate description of the way he boxed. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it really is. And that's why he said it. What fruit is squeezed into a margarita? A lime. Uh, nice. Somehow oh, I knew you'd get that. There we go. We had to go to the alcohol well, and Michael came through. The game is Big Dummy, 844-999. Ola, who is our next contestant, ready to play the game? Hello, Chris. Welcome to the men's room. Big Hola. Chris, you sober or not sober? Sober. Sober, Chris. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Men's room poll, pick one. Hard shell taco, soft shell taco, burrito, or nachos? Uh, personally, I prefer my kid's mom's taco, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, pick All one, right. hard shell, soft shell, burrito, or nachos? Burrito on okay. that one. I have a feeling burrito might take it today. All right. According to Elton John, what were we hopping and bopping to? Ooh. Uh, oh, Crocodile Rock? Oh, there right. you are, man. Yeah, Good job, absolutely. man. Hopping and bopping the Crocodile Rock. Mm-hmm. I was banging my head this morning trying to remember that. I'm like, God damn it. Big Dummy is the game. 844-999. Ola, who's our next contestant ready to play? Oh, John's got some hits. He has oh, a ton yeah, of hits. Oh, yeah. man, yeah. Two hours worth. Hello, Emmett. Welcome to the men's room. Big Dummy. Hola, Hola. Hola. Emmett, are you sober or not sober? I'm sober. Sober, Emmett. Welcome to the show. We've had a lot of sober people call today. Yeah, Rarely sure. happen. Well, they're getting ready for Red Festival. All right, our men's room uh, poll there, uh, Emmett. What, uh, which, which, where, which way are you going to go here? Hard shell taco, soft shell taco, burrito, or nachos? I'm going to go soft shell taco for them three tacos. All right. I do love a soft shell taco. All I right. love all these options. Yeah, I mean, look, I wouldn't turn down any one <laughs> exactly. of them, man. I really wouldn't. All right, true or false? Leo Fender, the guy who invented the Fender Stratocaster electric guitar, could not play the guitar. That would be true. Man, oh, man, people are kicking ass today. They are. Game is big dummy. 844-999. Oh, let's get another contestant ready to play the game. Hello, Mike. Welcome to the men's room. Hey. Hola. 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 Mike, are you on team not sober or team sober? Team sober. Team sober, Mike. Welcome to the show. Are you going to go hard shell, soft shell, burrito, or nachos on our men's room poll? See, I was thinking burrito, but it's always the, man, I wish I would have got the nachos, so I'm going to go nachos. Nice. Nachos are the fajitas of this choice. Like, you see them go by, you're like, oh, I should have got that. I get pretty right on I get fajitas every time (laughs) if I go to a restaurant. If it's there, you got to Yeah. Well, it sizzles by, you're smelling it, you know. Ah, man, I blew that. All right, here's your question. What president has had more books written about him than any other president? 
Uh, George Bush Sr. George Bush Sr. Now, hold on. Let me think about this. I'll say... It's either going to be somebody like, what, are you, what the hell are you doing over there, Mike? You all right? Oh, yeah. I'm okay. good. I'm just... Empty my work truck. All right. Uh, I would say either Ronald Reagan or John F. Kennedy. Or somebody like that. It's one of those two. Ronald Reagan. John F. Kennedy. Ah! John F. Kennedy. <laughs> the first three digits of your social security number cannot be what? 666. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which is ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Is there like an original person that was like zero zero like all the way to just a one? Maybe it was like zero zero one. I don't know. I don't yeah. know how that works, man. I really don't. But yeah, you can't have six six six. Columbus. Three that numbers. was his social security number, <laughs> right? <laughs> Leif Erickson. Big Dummy is a game. Eight four four nine 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 Ola. Who's our next contestant? Ready to play the game? You're going to be sorry you asked. Hello, Eastwood. Welcome to the oh, men's room. God. Hey, Hola, Bichola. Hola, Hola. How are you there, Eastwood? Are you sober or not sober today? Well, I've sobered up since this morning, so I'm sober now. I've sobered up since this morning. Well, good for you. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got up and called BJ and uh, and uh, oh. Danny, and now oh, I'm uh, calling you guys. Oh, okay, good. Well, lucky us. Yeah, really. Yeah, Everyone. Uh -huh. Thank God. I uh, poll there, Eastwood. Uh, hard shell taco, soft shell taco, burritos, or nachos? Well, I'm going with my favorite, the uh, soft taco from Taco Time. All right. That is a great soft taco. It is, man. But you got to get it with sour cream and not ranch. I don't know why they put ranch on tacos. So. But it's a bit of an odd combination. Mm -hmm. It is. All right, Eastwood. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I used to go in there, and this woman says, uh -huh. man, you're so skinny. You know, why don't you get the uh, uh, one that's all mixed up? Uh, unless you get... Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. You know, ranch, it was light, and, and so uh, they had this uh, special ranch, and now they got rid of the ranch. Anyway, go on, let's go. What's Wait, the question? How skinny are you? Like, how much do you weigh? I'm six foot one and a half, and I weigh about 135. Good God, man. Hey, one? I'm an Iron Man. I, I, you know, I can, you know, I, I, I probably could have taken double R when, uh, you know, uh, D. Ted couldn't. <laughs> you uh, you turn sideways and stick out your tongue hurt. and look like That's a zipper. Right. He, couldn't, he couldn't hit me. My dad said I have to run around the shower to get wet, so. Turn sideways, the water wouldn't hit me. That's what you say. All right. Run right around the shower to get wet. All right, here is your question. <laughs> get the next one with mayonnaise. What land animal is the closest living relative to a manatee? Manatee. Manatee. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> manatee is a funny looking animal. I don't know. I just hippopotamus. Sorry. Not right. a bad guess. Uh, He's tracking the right way. Rhinoceros? Elephant. Oh, all right. Cool. Oh, the yeah. elephants of the sea. Mm -hmm. Did not know that. <laughs> elephant, I should have known that. All right, you have multiple choice here. Coal, steel, or tobacco. What is the most successful American industry for investors since 1900? Uh, well... Stay away from Trump's favorite, the coal. Which, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, tobacco. That is correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they mm -hmm. diversified, you see. What do you mean they diversified? Well, the company is like the same company. What, now, like they own, Reynolds, they also own the Bisco. The Bisco. Yeah, they yeah that's the one. All these other different but things. I don't like know if craft, that, too. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, I don't know if it counts before they all those mergers happen, but they definitely diversified their company so they were just not standing on tobacco alone because that would have lasted. How come they haven't made a cheddar cigarette? Yeah, I mean, you got craft in your back pocket, right? Yeah. That's a good point, man. I I mean, why not? <laughs> Hell, man. A Cheeto dusted cigarette? Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Like, what's this one? Oh, it's cheddar. It's a uh, cheddar stick. Ted, we have some information for you. We were talking about social security cards. The first social oh. security number issued was 0550900001. And now we just gave that out. Well, that person <laughs> is screwed now. If the first person that had the first social security number is still alive, I'll give you it. I'll when did they? When did they start the social security card? 
I mean, was this like an FDR thing? Was it, I don't know, 1972. 1972. So maybe they are still alive. Get out of here. Damn. Well, they probably are then. We just, uh, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, person who might be still alive. Sorry, John. No, that's right, no, it's Mike, public Mike. info. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, 1936. Oh, that makes a yeah, lot okay. more sense. 1936. More Big Dummy on the way if you would like to be a contestant. 844-999-OLA. You are listening to the Men's Room Radio Network. This is the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. Head Chef on the way. Ted's Meat and Potatoes has 15 foods you didn't know came in cans. It's coming up with a Head Chef right after the game known as Big Dummy. 844-999-OLA. Steve, who is our next contestant ready to play the big game? Hello, Daniel. Welcome to the Men's Room. Big Dummy! Hello, Daniel. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hola. Hola. Daniel, you sober or not sober? I just got from work and I'm All right, welcome to the show, Daniel. Daniel, men's room poll today. Pick one. Hard shell taco, soft shell taco, burrito, or nachos. Okay, so I was thinking, and the only one that I would feel comfortable, like, eating half of them and then putting it in the refrigerator and wanting to eat later is burrito. Is that how you judge your food, if you can just eat a little of it now and then how will it last later on? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, like I said, I just got off work. and No, 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 I know. But, I mean, in your life, do you normally look at something and go, boy, oh, boy, I hope that keeps, you know, when you order it. Like, the nachos, obviously, that would not be a good food to keep. Right, but who doesn't finish a taco? Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, maybe okay. a huge burrito, I get it, but a taco, like, man, you're you going to eat it in one sitting. Yeah, you're right. Or you just wouldn't eat another taco. Right, right, right. All right By the way, people, I, I know it might be a little gross. I'll eat leftover nachos. They're just soggy. I would give it a try. That's the only problem I've ever seen. You really just want the toppings at that point, right? All right. Here's your question. Multiple choice. How many companies in America manufacture silverware? None, one, or three? Uh, three? I would go none. One. 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 Cheryl Manufacturing. Yeah. Well. So basically, if you're eating... Your chances are, yeah, yeah, made somewhere. It's a hell of a racket. All right, there are only two pairs of escalators in the entire state of what? They're both located in banks in one city. Uh, Alaska. Mm, not a bad guess. Mm. North Dakota. You're mm. in the right area. Wyoming. Wyoming. That was that was my other guess. I was thinking it might be someplace flat, too. So, yeah, we still got to go yeah. up in the building. Yeah. All right, this will come as a shock to no one, but the Chinese buffet, not invented in China. <laughs> what North American country was the Chinese buffet created? The United States. That would have been my guess, too. Canada? Canada? Vancouver. Canada. Mm-hmm. And it was not Vancouver. Was it Vancouver? Vancouver? Yeah. I get their, just, their international district is so old, so established. It, it seems like it's older than Chinatown in San Francisco. Oh, I'm sure. So that's why I, you know, it was something like I don't know. The fishermen had and some Victoria. kind of market, but nothing looked appealing. Mm-hmm. But they had a lot of Chinese workers that are sort of like, "Hey, man, can you put your food down and get these people to eat?" And then it became yeah. the China the Chinese also, buffet. Yep. All right. What are there more of in America? McDonald's or payday loan businesses? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's probably those payday loan businesses. Doesn't seem like it, but I guess there is. If you're not actively looking for it, yeah. I guess you wouldn't notice. So there's 20,000 payday loan places. There's 15,000 McDonald's hmm. here in yeah. the States. Uh, Game is big dummy. That's a great sign. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Four four nine 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 Ola, who's our next contestant, ready to play the big game. Sign of a strong economy there. It really is. Hello, Harry. Welcome to the men's room. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Hola. All right, Harry, are you sober or not sober? Not sober. Not sober, Harry. Welcome to the show. Harry, our men's room poll today, you got to pick one. Is it going to be a hard shell taco, a soft shell taco, a burrito, or nachos? Uh, I'm going to go with the nachos. Nachos. Okay. All right, your question. What was the nationality of the first woman in space? Space, space. She was African-American. She was Russian. She was, in fact, Russian. So, a bit whiter, uh, great, whiter Jewish? Oh. What's that? Are you saying what, what country did you come from? Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, you I, got said, it. I thought you said what so, Slash ref. Yeah. All right. What kind of acid is stomach acid? Oh, my Lord. Um, You've heard of it before. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's not bile. I mean, is it? I mean, how many different acids? Sulfuric? There's sulfuric. There's hydrochloric. It's hydrochloric. All right. Which is terrifying. That's crazy that that is in your body. Yeah, like the lining of your stomach is the difference. But it's there, right there in your belly. <laughs> both Crazy Horse and Sitting Bull were both born in what U.S. state? Um, Arizona? My Texas. God. South Dakota. Oh, South Dakota. All right, hang on the line there for us, Harry. We'll get right back to you, bud. If you'd like to be a contestant, play Big Dummy, 844-999. Ola will have uh, more of Big Dummy coming up here in just a few seconds. Ola, the shenanigans continue on the Men's Room Radio Network. 